BYU is awesome, but it's not for everyone. We surveyed 70 people who go to BYU, and here's what they had to say. So here's our list of 10 reasons you might not want to go to BYU. Number one, BYU has a strict no beard policy. You can have a mustache, but if it comes to a beard, you need to have a beard card if you want to keep it. Getting a beard card can be hard because you have to have an actual reason that you need a beard. So for instance, some of the cast of Studio C, they have beard cards because they are performers. Um, they also, if you're in a show or, or a movie, they have given beard cards out for that because you need to maintain a certain look for this movie or the show. But for just people wanting to grow beards, you're not gonna get just a beard card because you want one. You've gotta have an actual reason. So if you're someone who wants to grow a beard, BYU might not be the place for you. Number two, there are no animals left on campus unless they're service animals. So this could be good if you're allergic to animals, but if you have a pet that you want to be able to take on campus, you're gonna have to leave Fluffy home and go on campus by yourself because you're not allowed to have animals on campus. Number three, a very common complaint when you ask people about BYU is that there are fake people or um, self-righteous people. Because it is a church university, it's easy to find people who are judging you if you're not living by the honor code or if you're not uh, quite up to what they're doing. Um, but that's not the majority of people at BYU. It's just a small percentage of people. And hopefully you should be following the honor code if you signed it. So really there should be no pr actual problem there. But it is, you will probably find people like that if you do go to BYU. Um, there might be also some fake people, but you can find people like that anywhere. I don't think it's just a BYU problem, but it is good to be aware that it is at BYU. I haven't met too many people like that. The majority of people I've met are amazing and super fun. So it really just depends on who you interact with. Number four, there's not a lot of diversity on BYU campus. Being that it's a church school set up in Provo, Utah, you're gonna get a lot of members of the church and you're gonna get a lot of white people and you're gonna get a lot of Utahns. So there are a lot of people who don't fit into that. Um, we do have people who are not members of the church coming to BYU. We do have people who are not from Utah coming to BYU and we even have people who are not from the country coming to BYU. We have all races. There are there is diversity, it's just not as prevalent as you would find in some other universities. Number five, BYU is a conservative place, which can be great. In some aspects though, it may be a little more conservative than you would like. I know a big thing is with the dance program, they have very high values, which a lot of people like. I love that they have the high values because I'm into the dance program and I don't like having the immodest costumes. But there are people that I've talked to who disagree with that point of view and they think that it's taking away from the art by, by keeping up the standards and being too conservative, especially in the art and the dance and uh, the more, those kinds of programs where it's not just black and white, it's you know, you're trying to express yourself and all that. So it just depends on how you think of that. Number six, BYU religion tests are the blunt of a lot of jokes. The main thing with the religion tests is that they're super subjective. So sometimes you're not sure what exactly the answer should be. Some teachers will put in um, almost opinion. This isn't always the case, but you just have to make sure that you're paying attention to what the teacher is teaching you and then answering that on the tests and not answering other answers because you know religion is something that's it can be black and white in places but in some places it's not black and white um, in some places it's open to uh, not so much personal inter interpretation but it's something that you know isn't the same for everyone so just keep that in mind as you take religion tests that you're gonna want to make sure you know what the teacher thinks and what he or she is expecting you to think on this test. Um, but B BYU religion tests are pretty great. They are usually, they really help you learn what you've learned in the class and they usually aren't too tricky like that. You know, you can generally understand what's being asked and it's generally a very clear answer. Um, but it is something you might hear people joking about if you come to BYU campus because it's something that a lot of people dislike. Number seven. Sometimes the stuff at the bookstore can be a little bit expensive. 
Uh, I'm not just talking about books. I'm talking about, you know, just pencils, erasers. And of course, they're going to have to be more expensive because it's in the middle of campus. And, you know, if you're already going there, there's a high demand, so they can raise the price. Um, so you may want to just buy school supplies not at the bookstore. You may just want to buy them somewhere else and save your money. Number eight, there are work limitations for campus jobs. So if you're working in the fall and winter while you're going to school, you cannot work more than 20 hours. And if you do work more than 20 hours, you can be fired, you can lose your job, you can, bad things can happen. Um, and then in the summer, you cannot work more than 40 hours. You cannot go into overtime. And there are times when you get permission to go into overtime. So I worked for the football stadium and whenever we'd have a game, they would allow us to go into overtime because they needed us to be working and but majority of the, the jobs, you're not gonna pass the overtime limit. So if you're wanting to be able to work overtime, you're wanting to work more than 20 hours, get a job that is not a campus job. Get one that's disconnected to the university and you'll be able to work as much as you want. Number nine, like any campus, parking can be crazy. So you're gonna definitely want to, if you have a car, check out the parking, check out you know all the rules before the first day of class because it's going to be crazy. You're gonna be needing to find a, a spot and you might be running late and trying to figure that out in a heat of the moment is not gonna be helpful. Um, and you know, something else that can be helpful is sometimes parking does fill up. And if you are needing to park and it's full, this isn't always the case, so make sure that, that you're parking somewhere where it's correct and you're, you're not gonna get towed. But in some housing, uh, close to campus, you can park. They don't check the parking permits until after midnight, so visitors can park there. So you may want to just park there and then run to campus, you know, the few blocks or whatever it is, if you can't find parking any other way. But, you know, whenever possible, just walk to campus because it might simplify your life unless you live really far away. Number 10, housing can be a total nightmare on BYU. Um, and this is probably how it is for the majority of college campuses. But if you want to get into some of the really nice housing, it's gonna be competitive. You're gonna to have to sign up for housing early on. Cause if you wait until you know July or August, you're gonna run out of a lot of options. Um, especially if you are a freshman coming in to BYU for the first time. If you're living in Helaman Halls or Heritage Halls, make sure you turn in your application as soon as possible just to get into BYU at all. Because something not everyone knows is you get your housing preference based on how early you turn your application in. So if you're thinking like you wanna make sure everything's right, take your time on it and turn it in the last day, chances of you getting on-campus housing are very slim. By the time I turned it in, I was, I turned it in probably the beginning of December, maybe a little earlier than that. It was earlier than that, probably mid-November I turned mine in and Heritage Halls was completely full. There were a few spots left in Helaman Halls. So make sure you turn in your application as soon as possible if you want to get into either of those because the later you wait, the less of a chance you have of living in either of those places. But if you don't live on campus as a freshman, that's totally fine. There are a lot of other places you can live, uh, but it's just good to be aware so that you don't have a nice surprise that you can't live on campus because you didn't turn your application in soon enough. I hope you enjoyed that video. Did I miss anything? If you've gone to BYU, let us know what you think in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. If you want more information about BYU, check out our website. It's lifey.org forward slash Brigham dash young dash university. We'll put a link to that in the description below. We've put the rest of our surveys, um, some really helpful videos, just helpful resources. If you're planning on going to BYU or if you're still trying to make that decision, um, definitely check it out. Thanks for watching.